What's up guys? Back with a little video. Possibly gonna turn it into more videos. I don't know. But uh, I got an 88 Acura Integra transmission for the gearings. For the gears to put in my A20 transmission. So maybe this will be a little teardown video. I don't know. We'll see. And so far, fifth gear is gone. I'm only going through one through four, so we're going to see what the hell, if this is any good or not. So, yeah, there we go. To be continued. All right, I basically removed the two nuts. This one on the main input shaft is reverse thread. So, you know, tighten to loosen and loosen to tighten. And uh, I removed the little pin with a five millimeter punch. I'm going to remove this and remove these trash gears and hope the rest is good. Alright, I finally got both uh, the fifth gear set removed. This one's pretty much kind of stuck on there from where it apparently got pretty hot. Pretty hot and pretty wore out. So, and inside the this part there's like a double needle bearing type deal. Next I'm going to remove these three and catch the spring and ball. And then I'm going to undo all these around and lift this casing up and see what's up. All right, we got our casing off, and I don't know if this part of the bearing right there was supposed to stay with that or what, but it just slid all out, but shockingly, uh, the gears look good. Everything looks good in it, pretty much. So, cool. To be continued. Just a little recap, I went ahead and pulled this clutch arm out in the speed sensor. And the, uh, you know, we'll go back and these are 10 millimeter uh, socket heads or whatever. 30 millimeter uh, socket, thanks to Justin from Asian Garage. I'm going to do a shout out to his channel. He did an awesome B16 intake manifold video. You can find uh, that video in the link in the description. But 30 millimeter reverse thread on this one. These are 12 millimeter. We're going to get back to it. Alright, my next step was I, I wiggled the shifter, pulled this little mechanism piece out first. I'll sit down in there. Pull that out. Then once that was removed, I was able to remove this shaft for I guess it's the reverse idler gear. I'm not sure, but it's looking like my next step is I'm going to remove these three 10 millimeters, then remove this gear, then possibly these these bolts right here and hopefully pull it up as one assembly we'll see all right so I removed the three 10 millimeter headed uh, fasteners two longer ones are down here and the shorter ones right here I removed that whole little mechanism and then right here I pulled the shaft up I pulled the shaft up and slid this uh, little, I think it's an idler gear, I'm not sure. My repair manuals don't tell me because I have a cheap ass one, but now I think I'm going to remove these three and hopefully this whole whole uh, gear set will remove. We'll see. To be continued. And these three right here appear to be like a 12 point uh, 10 millimeter. Special 12, uh, 12 point 10 millimeter and luckily I have one, so we'll go from there. All right, there it is, guys. I actually had to turn the casing up on its side to try to wiggle it out because it didn't want to come out of there, but it finally came out as a whole set. And now I'll remove this diff, and I think that might be about it for all I need. All right, guys, I just flipped the casing over and the, the differential fell right out. So I guess that's going to conclude this video. That'll be it, apparently. All oh, that fucking nasty. But all the gears look pretty decent. I'm pretty happy for the price I paid for this thing, so I cannot complain. I'm not going to be using the fifth gear set anyway, so... You know, you get what you pay for, like I say, and it was a reasonable cheap price. I just want gears one through four. Hey, I'm happy. I can't complain. Everything looks good to me. I'm going to be reusing this for the uh, hybrid Integra gear swap. Eventually, I'm going to try to get me an LSD and possibly some uh, carbon synchros. So, to be continued, I'm going to put a link in the, ad, uh, in the description of the 
LSD tag gear swap from 3G's Power Prelude. And we'll put a link in the description of Asian Garage of the B16 intake manifold. So y'all stay tuned. Thanks everybody for subscribing and watching.